Good day, everyone, uh, and welcome to uh, part of a series of talks sponsored by the IFLA Wikidata Working Group. Uh, my name is Stacey Allison Casson. I'm a member of the Wikidata Working Group, also the IFLA Indigenous Matters section, and I'm an associate librarian at York University in Toronto, Canada. The IFLA Wikidata Working Group was formed to explore and advocate for the use and contribution to Wikidata by libraries and information professionals. The integration of Wikidata and Wikibase uh, with library systems are part of the work of this group. This session is part of a group of talks uh, that was originally scheduled to take place as part of um, a Wikisite satellite meeting that was to be held adjacent to the annual IFLA uh, Global Information Conference that was to be held in Dublin in August. Due to the impacts of COVID-19, this uh, in-person meeting has been um, cancelled, but we're very happy to be able to offer this series um, in an online format. We're grateful to the Wikisite project and to the Wikimedia Foundation for providing funding for these talks and to IFLA for supporting us through uh, administrative support. Um, and uh, before we get started, I did want to take a moment to uh, acknowledge um, and think about the spaces and territories that we occupy. Even though we are meeting virtually, we know that we are all sitting in physical spaces and as well the servers and cables that connect us also occupy uh, land. I live in Oakville, Ontario, and I want to acknowledge the current treaty holders for uh, this territory, which is the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. And I also want to acknowledge that this land has been occupied by numerous other Indigenous nations, including the Huron-Wendat, the Anishinaabe, and the Haudenosaunee. Uh, we are very pleased to be joined today by Nicolas Vigneron. Uh, Nicolas, Nicolas has been uh, a Wikimedian since 2004, and he's very involved in a number of Wikimedia projects, and in particular, um, Wikisource and Wikidata, and is working on bringing those projects uh, more closely together. His talk is entitled, How Do Wikisources Manage Data? And I'm going to hand it over uh, to him to lead us through this talk today. Thank you, Stacy. Sharing. So yes, uh, as you said, I'm Nicolas Vigneron. I'm a long-time Wikimedian, um, especially on Wikisource and Wikidata. And today in this Wikisite discussion, I want to talk about how do Wikisources manage data, especially bibliographical data, of course, uh, but not only. And I think it's a good example, a concrete example of how bibliographical data can be inserted in an existing project and how can, they can work together on Wikisource and Wikidata. So that will be my presentation today. So first, uh, what is Wikisource? Because it will be mainly on Wikisource, so I will introduce it a bit. So Wikisource is a free online collaborative library which exists since 2004 and uh, it's a Wikimedia project. So like Wikipedia that you probably know or Wikidata or Wikimedia Commons that I'll talk about later. It's uh, online, obviously, and it's powered by a wiki dynamic, uh, which makes uh, collaborative uh, edition and collaboration uh, easier. And uh, obviously, it's under a free license. Uh, this uh, collectively, these uh, digital libraries uh, have a total of uh, 4.4 uh, million texts, documents uh, in more than 70 languages. So you have a wiki source in French, a wiki source in English, or in some minority language, uh, language of all the world, each have uh, separate independent project. And Wikisource has two main core mission. Uh, the first being uh, proofreading text. Uh, we took uh, scans of text and we make them more available uh, and high quality transcription. And the second part is how we manage uh, this content, uh, how we create them together, how we manage the data 
and uh, and so on how to make them accessible discoverable and so on so for a long time almost everything has been done manually and by hand for each book and for each offer and for each data it has been done not in data actually first um, it was a very time consuming uh, mission and now it will, it has changed a bit and i want to talk about that so basically how it works the workflow is um you start with a, a, a file a scan of a book of a text of just a page sometimes uh, a poster why not any documents uh, and you start with a pdf or deja vu or whatever format and you take take it from a source an online library it could be internet archive google books a national library very often they have a digital library already where we can reuse if the license is compatible and you put this file on a first website which is wikimedia commons because the first entry point of wikisource is not wikisource we start with storing the file on wikimedia commons which is a central deposit for file um, and here you can see how the data appear on uh, wikimedia commons uh, for instance les miserables by victor hugo and you see that there's a lot of data which it was done by hand and everything was entered for the first time copying what was on the source website and then you put it on wikisource itself on what we call an uh, index page where uh, we have all the pages paginated and the color says how much uh, the proofreading is good if it's red uh, yellow or green here it's all green but what you can see is that here again you find again the same data that you have before on commands and you have again before on the source material and once you finished you can uh, merge together all the page you can transclude them into a book that can be made available for readers and that can be exported for um, ebooks or whatever device you want to read it afterwards and as i said we also curate all these books to make them more accessible and more attractable and you have for instance author pages where we put again more or less the same data that you have before so that was since 2000 for free we did almost everything by hand we had some templates and tools to help us to format it in the same way every time um, but 90 percent of the work was done by hand and since 2012 we have wikidata as a new wikimedia project which core mission is to manage data as the name says uh, on it has specific interface specific uh, tool to manage data so it's really the mission of wikidata to to deal with data and now ideally what we do is when we take the source and move the source file on wikimedia commons we also at the same time took the metadata and put them on a wikidata item for this specific scan and then all the other uses that i showed before retrieve the data directly from the one point where it's stored on wikidata so you don't have to put over and over again the same data and the same date the same place the same everything the same number of page or whatever many many wiki um, bibliographical data so yeah it started in um, 2012 wikidata end of 2012 and Immediately, the Wikisource community really see the potential and um, how it can ease everything, improve the data, how we can spend less time on managing the actual data and more time on proofreading the books and displaying it, uh, retrieving only the data we want in a nice way and everything. So it's not fully done yet. And this is the slide I will talk about later, what has been done already and what still need to be done because not everything is perfect but this is the the roadmap where we want to to go and a lot has been done already so it's really game changing 
So as I said, we have a lot of tools. We had tools before Wikidata. So we had just to adapt them uh, easily to, to really integrate and retrieve Wikidata data. So for instance, on comments, what I showed you before, we have a books uh, template. We we'll take the data and put them, uh, everything at the right place. And now the, these templates retrieve automatically Wikidata instead of entering uh, Les Miserables by Victor Hugo at this time, published at this place and everything. Now you just say, oh, it's that, that item on Wikidata, just take all bibliographical data that we want to display. And same goes for other templates. Um, for instance, uh, the last uh, step that I showed is the O4 page. We have an O4 template which uh, retrieve also Wikidata data. And uh, for now, it's only retrieve some of the data about the person itself, the O4. And it's starting to retrieve um, authority control links and everything to pointing to other libraries and to 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 intertwine Wikidata and Wikisource and everything to ease the navigation to other side. And it's not dealing actually right now with um, the list of documents that a person published, the bibliography and everything, and it should be done soon. And there's a lot of other templates that I don't have time to show them all and talk about them all. But since it's on Wikidata, it can be reused anywhere, and including outside Wikimedia project. If you want to reuse Wikidata data on, on your library uh, system, you can also. And for instance, on Wikipedia, you have also an article about Les Miserables or Victor Hugo, where you can, we do retrieve data from Wikidata also. So there's a lot of taking time ports, uh, tools that helps easing up everything, that help uh, enrich data and everything. But there's also um, a project page, uh, multiple project pages actually, uh, including the, the page on Wikidata, which is called Wikiproject Books, which is the central page where we talk about how to model data, how to make them multilingual and how to make them uh, uh, of quality and everything. Every discussion we want to have about, this is the central place. And we have other projects for specific things like, oh, it's a book, but it's not a book, it's a journal or it's just a poster and every document at large. And this is quite usual on wiki project and Wikimedia site to have a lot of space to talk about it. To, to reach consensus and to, to, to reach to experts or librarian, how they catalog it and how we can adapt it or, or not, how we can work together at least. So a lot has been done, but a lot still need to be done. And um, there's a lot of issues, uh, things that are not completely working or not working at all. Uh, a big part of that, as I said, we love to talk, to have discussion, to, to, to have an agreement on everything on wiki projects. So one major issue was onboarding the community. The issue was not exactly onboarding it because they were motivated. They, they, as I say, they, they saw the potential very quickly, but then you have to be pragmatical on teach the community how to use these new tools or how we change the, oh, for 10 years you use this tool, but now this tool works this way. And you have to explain everything. So we have uh, to do a lot of documentation, explanation, uh, explain how the data model works, how you enter data inside the data model and everything. And uh, how we deal with some weird case that was not, uh, in the previous data model and improve it. So this is very dynamic and it's every time everlasting work to, to improve it. And this is very time consuming, but very rewarding also. And the community like that, but we really need to help them to help us in the end. Um, another big, this time a very big issue, more or less technical, 
uh, was how to deal uh, with the conversion because as I said, wiki sources existed since 2004. So there was a lot of previous data, a lot of books already done, um, profit totally and things like that. So we have uh, basically 4 million texts with data that we needed to convert it to the new model. And then uh, a lot of problem arise. Uh, as you can imagine, when you go from textual data done by hand, which is not actually data, to real data into Wikidata, uh, which is structured and linked and with a specific format. So as you can imagine, one very common issue in every cataloging system is all the homonyms. Um, when the author is just called John Smith or just J Smith with an initial letter, you don't have more information. It's uh, very often you need um, a human to check, oh, this is this John Smith, not that John Smith. Oh, this is Victor Hugo, the well-known writer, but oh no, this is uh, Abel Victor Hugo, the son of the writer, or things like that. Um, this is still a big part because we have a big depth in the end of a lot of data that needs still to be converted, but a lot has been done. Um, which is nice, uh, but there's other problem. And one big problem we are still not fully resolved is how we manage time. Because previously it was plain text and we can put basically whatever you want. For instance, here I put some dates. It can be a year, it can be a year with a month. Uh, it can be in European format and American format with days not in the same order and everything. There can be some precision like late uh, 80s and late uh, a decade specific, or it can be turn of a century, beginning, middle of a century. You can imagine very, uh, very big number of way to write dates. Uh, and I'm not even talking about other calendars because this is the Roman uh, uh, Julian calendar, but a Gregorian calendar, but sometimes you have the, the Julian calendar, sometimes you have a calendar in uh, like um, the Muslim calendar or the Republican calendar in France we had at that time, uh, strange things like that. Um, and sometimes you have number which is not uh, in the same numeration system. Uh, if you go in other languages in, uh, in basically all Asia has a different system for in Chinese, in Japanese, in all India has several system inside India. And Wikisource has a very strong community in India, so that was really something that had to be done. It couldn't be just, oh, we do it later or anything. So we had a, a lot of time um, just analyzing how the date we enter, how we need to improve them uh, in, in a single format, because as I showed on the other part of the slide, in Wikidata, it's all in on one format, which is a bit strange like that, but this is one format to rule them all and that does everything, uh, which is uh, actually a format taken from an ISO standard. Um, you can put everything at on the same um, structuration every time. So it's the same data type, no problem anymore um, once it's converted. And there's a lot of other problem of conversion uh, that arise now and then um, because of things. Oh, we always assume that books behave this way or this way, and sometimes, oh, we have an exception. So that's still a big issue because exceptions are not always so exceptional. They can be quite often sometimes. Other issues can be, for instance, um, all the granularity of data because. Here we are mostly in a concrete, pragmatical way, or we want data for Wikisource, and we have a goal, so it's more or less settled, or we want at least data for what we need. You can enrich with more data, but that's not the problem of Wikisource somehow. That's weirdly phrases, but that's how it is. Um, so we have to question how we, how deep and how in details we will go. And especially uh, on the Wikidata project books uh, I mentioned earlier, 
uh, we choose to follow more or less the further level system. Um, the only thing we did is we changed the four layers um, originally in Ferber, which are um, work, uh, manifestation, expression, uh, item. And in Wikidata, we decide we only need uh, three level. So we basically merge, conflate together manifestation and expression to be just edition version level. Um, because especially for Wikisource, most of the time you only have one edition of the book. So it's not a problem. You don't have to go all in the details of manifestation and prediction and everything. Um, and actually, it was already challenging to explain to everybody how two or three levels. We don't go very often on the item exemplar unique level. But already doing the distinction between work and edition can be quite challenging. It's not always easy for everyone. Not everyone is born cataloger. So you have to explain and it can be confusing. And sometimes you have to undo things badly done, like uh, all edition were entered as data in uh, a work level item, and you have to split it in different level. Or sometimes it has been redone several times and you need to merge. Uh, there's a lot of explanation we need to do. And uh, it's not always easy to explain this uh, semantic uh, um, almost metaphysic distinction because, oh, this is a book, this is also a book, but this is the book in general, the work, and this is a specific edition of the book. And in Wikidata it, and in Wikisource, it matters to do this distinction. Um, granularity uh, is also for, because we have a further level, a uh, further system for, for books, but uh, for documents, any documents, but uh, sometimes we want to go more in details, like we want to put some data about each chapter of a book. Uh, for instance, we have a lot of um, uh, dictionaries, um, lexical, thesauri, and everything. And sometimes we need, actually, so we want uh, to have the data for our needs, to have an item on Wikidata for each entry in one dictionary. Uh, because we can add more information and this is an entry about this person and we have another item about this person so it's all linked together but um, but again there's granularity question how deep we want to go uh, and basically most of the time we are as i said pragmatical do we need it if we need it then we need to find a solution if we don't really need it um, basically we say you can try or you can do something and we will see if it works easily, if it's not too much of a burden for the community to, to deal with that data, if it doesn't break previous tool or systems or templates also. So yeah, granularity is always fun because people want more data and you are like, yeah, but we have enough for our needs. And if you want to, don't put too much uh, like the drop, but make everything falls down, please. So that's always interesting question. And then we have all things around data quality because as the conversion was done mostly automatically, uh, there was sometimes some error and we need to assure that, that the quality is do good. And because the system can be the, the model, FRBR and everything can be quite um, complex sometimes. Uh, we need to make sure that new data is also um, of good quality and they are all coherent and consistent and everything. And actually this is not much of an issue technically because Wikidata has already strong system of constraints, of patterns, of schemes, uh, schemas that uh, can be applied uh, to the data to make sure, oh, uh, this person has a birth date, which is located, uh, which is in point in time before the death date, or uh, death of uh, baptism or marriage, uh, wedding, everything, which is consistent. This is uh, when he was alive, so that's okay. Or this is not uh, coherent, and you need to check it. 
And this is the bad part about data quality is that we have a lot of data and the community don't, uh, doesn't always have the time um, to check manually everything. So basically we are uh, editing a long list of things that need to be checked, not always corrected because sometimes it's just a false positive, the rules was too strong and things like that. But we need to check manually to make sure the data are good quality. And this can be, even with good tools, this can be very time consuming and sometimes very puzzling because you are like, yeah, I understand why it triggered a flag. This is not good, but I'm not sure how I can solve the problem or things like that. Uh, and yeah, so basically this is more uh, a people problem. It is more social engineering and how the community can find uh, the time and the solution to apply the rules that we define for ourselves. That's, that's also quite interesting. And finally, as I said in the first workflow diagram, there's something, uh, some things, some pieces that are still missing. It's not uh, perfect yet. It will never be perfect, but some big pieces are missing and it can be quite annoying. Uh, not everything works smoothly together always. Uh, the displaying of data sometimes, as I said, sometimes there's too much data. So the template display also too much and it can be confusing. Um, like uh, for instance, for some offer, we have several uh, dev dates because several external catalog or sources give different dates and we need to prioritize to only uh, display the, the most relevant one or ones if there's most complicated case. So there's still a lot of thing to do uh, around formatting. It's always uh, need to be done. And again, as Wikisource as multilingual, you, are, you need to make sure that everything is displayed in the reader language uh, and in the reader script and in the reader uh, right to left or left to right, depending on the language. So there's a lot of things to be done around that. And around the tool, actually, there's, it's more bridging together a lot of bricks because we have a lot of tools, a lot of bricks of software and script and everything, uh, which cover more or less everything, but they are not always automatic in the one single nice workflow. So sometimes you launch like every day, I'm doing this first software and then the second software and then the third software and the day afterwards I do the same and it could be merged together in one big workflow tool that does the free step uh, by itself, or at least in one same interface, it would be, you know, we will win some time and things like that. And we are still also have some problems, uh, finally, with all retrieving the data uh, from external sources. The first step, um, there's so many catalog outside Wikimedia and they have each and everyone has their, uh, their own system, their own data. We are more and more converging with uh, Ferber, for instance, is more and more common and uh, it's more and more semantic. So it's better for uh, robot and human to work together, basically. But still, uh, we stumble quite often on, oh, this is a wonderful online library and oh, but the metadata is not easily accessible. Or, or, or it's easily accessible method in an easy format on whatever. So I think this is the biggest missing piece right now. This is somewhere we don't have a good brick because basically I, we have uh, a tool for each external library to be fitted and adapted to that specific library. So there's a lot of other issue, but that was the major one, I would say. And it's still in flux because uh, the community is sometimes working on things and the Wikimedia Foundation developing tools also helping the community. It's not all volunteer. Um, so it's moving, 
and it's moving quite quite fast i think i just wish sometime it would be faster and everything would be perfect already but that's a dream um to finish uh, i want to talk about what we want to be the next step where we want to go afterwards because i'm talking about oh i want this to be perfect but it will never be perfect and it's not enough there's a lot of other thing we can do uh, or we wish to do um, basically can boil down to these two points which is improving the system uh, which is both the tooling system as i said the tech could be smoother and nicer and easier to use for the community uh, but it's also uh, everything around uh, documentation, explanation, all the pedagogy and all uh, a big part, I think, is all the UX, UI, user interface, user experience, uh, because having a good documentation is good. But if your tool is in itself easy to use, uh, if everything is at the right place uh, and clearly at the right place, um, it's easier and you don't need the documentation so it's it would be even better so this is a major improvement i think um, improving the system is also improving uh, the data model uh, in seven years on wikidata i think we covered pretty much every corner but there's always some part in the dark that oh we forgot about that or or we don't forget but we said we'd do it later and now we are later so there's always more thing to improve in the in the general system and one big other point where basically very very few things has been done so i'm taking this presentation as an opportunity to talk about it it's everything around uh, external sources external catalog external uh, digital libraries because wikisource heavily rely on external source uh, or sometimes some people um, do the scan themselves they found the book which has not been digitized yet and uh, they do it uh, it's especially important in um, in india for instance a lot of book has not been digitized yet so the community is digitizing itself but in most of the case we prefer and it's an efficient question not to redo work that has already been done by external libraries so we prefer to just take scans from existing library if they are in public domain or compatible license obviously but we do it actually this is a part made still um, by hands every time one person in the community take one book in one library and sometimes they do a tool for this library or that fits the needs of this person but it's always need to we reinvent the wheel every time basically and we need better linking better uh, and it's not just technical linking again versus community uh, linking we have to bridge uh, all community of wiki sourcing uh, with a community of librarians and, and all institution um, and glams and everything uh, and it could be a win-win situation because we have basically the manpower resource to proofread a lot of books to spot mistakes we have a lot of mistakes on, of our own to spot and check but we can do more that's not a problem and meanwhile uh, the librarians uh, and the library have all the content and have all the um, authority control data and everything and they have some expertise on, on their field obviously so i think we really we can work together to make everything even better for us and for everyone. So that's it. Um, we have um, thank you for listening, and uh, we have some time for question here if you want. Thank you, Nicholas. It was a really, really great talk um, and very interesting. And I think we do have uh, a little bit of time for questions. Um, <laughs> And so uh, I think I'm going to turn it over to Kareem to ask a question. Great. Um, thank you. My name is uh, Kareem Tharani. I'm a librarian at the University of Saskatchewan, which is on Treaty 6 land. 
I have a question that needs a little bit of confirmation from an expert like you, Nicholas, and then <clears throat> maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, a follow-up uh, uh, question around that insight is that, um, so when I try to map um, Wikisource, Wikidata, and Wikisite together, I understand Wikisite to be a list or data of citations, and Wikisource to be the content of um, items. And what's common between the two is the Wikidata, which, is, which serves as a database for the two. So if that's the correct uh, categorization of these three things, my question is that, um, is uh, to get into Wikisite or Wikisource, um, is one a prerequisite for the other? Or can anybody start at Wikisite? So do you have to have citations in Wikisite before you do Wikisource? Or Wikisource could have books that are not in Wikisite. And how does that get reconciled? I'm hoping there are some processes around that. Is that yeah. true? Yeah, good question. Thanks for asking. Um, yeah, your assumption on how basically it works is more or less correct, just to, to be clear, because we use the term projects for a bit of everything inside the Wikimedia Galaxy. So it's a, I understand it can be a bit confusing. So you have projects in the sense of website and Wikidata or, or Wikisource, Wikimedia Commons, Wikipedia is a website, is a, but we call it project anyway. And then Wikisite is more a project in the sense of uh, initiatives. That's more an inside project. Like the project books inside Wikidata, it's more a smaller a subset of the community working a specific issue together. Uh, there's a lot of projects on Wikimedia projects. Um, so yeah, basically. And they work quite independently, maybe too much independently sometimes. <laughs> And um, so, yeah, you can start by doing just some proofreading contents on Wikisource uh, or just adding uh, data uh, about the books, bibliographical records on Wikidata, or working on citation. Uh, as a Wikisource, I would say that Wikisource is a good starting place because uh, this is where you can find the actual citation and you need the content to do some automatic processing if you want afterwards, like, oh, this book cites this one and this one, but if you don't have the books, it's a bit uh, in the effort and you don't have uh, things. But since there's a community already doing books, maybe you can just take books already done and work on them. Uh, I know, for instance, a lot of Wikisource, are, uh, there's a subset of the community working on dictionaries, as I mentioned. And especially there's a dictionary about language, about uh, biography, about people. And sometimes you have a bilingual or trilingual or whatever uh, dictionary. And I know that there's a lot of community working on that on Wikisource, but not that much reusing this content to make data on Wikidata, just the basic bibliographical records. So I think a lot of things can be done in this field. Um, especially afterwards, if you want to go and everything about uh, natural uh, language processing and things like that, that could be very interesting. But this is not exactly, yes, every project has its job and not everyone do the job for everything because, yeah, we don't, uh, we only have 24 hour a day. So uh, I hope this answers your question. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Nicholas. Great, uh, I'm just gonna open it up to see if there's any um, other questions. I have a question, but I can, I can wait. Uh, I do have a question. Um, hi, my name, thanks, Nicholas. My, my name is Miguel Curaya. I'm a librarian uh, from Nova School of Business and Economics in Portugal. And I do have a question for you because there was something in your presentation that uh, caught my eye. Okay, so libraries are now starting uh, Wikidata projects by uh, putting their authority files on Wikidata. So uh, how, how do you think th this would help the Wikisource um, project 
to match with uh, the things you said about disambiguity about authors or 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 other cases and scenarios of uh, mixing all this data and trying to get the right one yes thanks for asking uh this would be a tremendous help like really because as i said wikisource people already has a lot of work to do uh, and people on wikidata working on bibliographical data already has a lot of thing to do and sometimes we don't have the time so it's always good if other people can do it especially if it's expert in their field it's even better and the other point is that uh, sometimes it's not a question of time but more a question of expertise and oh yes you have a problem with this too john smith oh i actually did my thesis on this one so i know how i know that my authority file is good because i did spend a lot of time before on that one and i know it can be very complicated sometimes uh, one fun game we had on wikidata is finding the most confusing uh, disambiguation people with the same first name same second name same last name on the same birth date same death date we call them twins and actually there's a lot of them like a load <laughs> like hundred of thousand of them and we are like oh this uh, wiki twins i don't know how to call them but there's a lot of them and it's very important to have authority file in this case to say oh um the last i stumbled upon is uh, two footballers in uh, in Africa, uh, both called Adama Traore, both uh, born in June uh, 1985, both footballer in the same club. Like, what the odds? And uh, we spotted it because this was an item that was merged and unmerged and remerged and re unmerged. And we were like, oh, something is strange. And we need data. And especially, it was important for this one because it's in Africa where we have less uh, data source less uh, people interesting in this field sadly which is very sad and we were very happy when we found uh, some external sources so it's not exactly biographical in this case but it was very important um, so we can be certain that oh it's not probably the same one or not we are sure it's not the same one because this database and this database say it's not so when you add uh, more external data it can uh, we have some uh, internal system that triggers um, filter so it's not merged again or at least there's a warning to prevent the merge so hopefully it it will really help to enrich the data um, and one last point to answer is that when you point to external authority uh, control for instance then in this authority control, you can rebound to other authority control or to uh, the content on online library. And then, yes, you start a path to, to a lot of other things. And it goes both ways, ideally. You can link uh, from Wikidata to external sources and external sources can link to Wikidata. I know the National Library of France starting to do that for quite some time already. And yeah, we can really enrich it over and really benefit from it. I hope. Thank That's you. Great. That's great. And so um, I think I'm going to take um, moderator's privilege and, and maybe ask the last uh, question, although I have many, many questions or things I, I want to um, bring together. And, and so my question, I'm going to foreground with a little bit of um, comment uh to bring together some of the other points that have been made because i think what's really interesting about wikisource is that it, it's so it's the multilingual aspect of it and i think something that just for everyone to be aware about with wikidata is that because it's multilingual every time you enter any statements or data into into wikidata it can be rendered into other languages um, so it, it, no matter what you put in Wikidata, it can be rendered into another language so people in that language can read it. And something I think that we know in libraries is that it's relatively easy to digitize things, 
but it's a lot more expensive to add the metadata and to transcribe um, the, the um, uh, scan materials. So um, what strikes me about, about your uh, work with um, Wikisource, Nicholas, is the, is the real um, opportunity for smaller languages or minority languages in this work, because we, as we know English uh, is, there's lots of things on the internet in English. Uh, it's, access is relatively good, but it is some of the smaller languages that also have trouble getting visibility. So you might have digitized materials in libraries uh, or metadata in libraries, but it's much harder for that, for that metadata to um, get bumped up. And so one of the things we know about the Wikimedia projects is that uh, um, Google, for example, really likes the data coming from Wikidata. So it really surfaces that that metadata in a really powerful way. So I wonder if you can just speak a little bit about um, about specifically around minority languages or or smaller language groups. Yes, yes, you you're totally right. And especially it's, it's a pet project of mine to to be interested in linguistic in general in minority languages especially and historic. A historical language is also a big question because we have a wiki source in Latin, for instance. Uh, so there's a lot of resource there. Uh, yeah, Wikidata is very, uh, it has been designed to be multilingual, so it's very helpful. Uh, we know, for instance, uh, comments, Wikimedia comments, we store files and we try to be multilingual, but a lot is still done by hand on this field again. So it's complicated and really Wikidata deals with that very, very nicely. Um, we even have some um, fallback system. When you don't have something in your language, you can fall back to another language. Uh, so there's no missing piece. So black, black spot, uh, oh, I don't know the name of Victor Hugo in Chinese. I display nothing. You can say, yeah, but I have it in Japanese. I'm not sure it's a good example, but sometimes, oh, I, I know a, a closed language has something, so you can display things. That's very, again, that's very, really, really helpful. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of work to, I'm not sure where to begin. <laughs> there's so much to do around language. Uh, but especially for, as you said, um, most of the people on the planet don't speak English, but still English is pre predominant and still on the first place on many things. Uh, and here it's not possible to compete with Internet Archive, for instance, do a tremendous job, mostly in English. Uh, Google Books, uh, all the Western world uh, do a lot of things in English or major language. It goes for German or, or French too, it's not just English. Uh, but when you go into minority language, like uh, I do speak Breton, which is a language in Brittany, continental Britain, Britain uh, which is uh, classified as severely endangered. Oh, I think it's like dark red on the UNESCO scale. Um, there's very few people speaking it and it's, uh, it has been a long time um, oral language, uh, not so much written. So there's a lot of different orthography and nightmare to deal with that. And really, um, uh, Wikisource uh, really want to, to go uh, on this because it's important to preserve the language and the culture that goes with it. And uh, Wikidata helps and um, it's better and better. And here we have uh, really uh, something that is unique to Wikisource that you don't find uh, on other digital library uh, in some in some minority languages, Wikisource is the biggest digital library for that language. Um, and it's especially good as it's virtual. So for instance, books in Britain mostly come from Brittany, but sometimes they come from all over the world because two centuries ago, an explorer took some book in Brittany and take it back. Uh, there's a lot of them in other Celtic nations like uh, Scotland and uh, Wales, for instance, but sometimes you can find them in, um, I know in Boston or somewhere in Canada, maybe there's a big uh, Celtic studies library for some reason. And since it's all online, since the libraries themselves can put data on Wikidata, we can retrieve them and use them. And it can be a central place for, 
for really surfacing and um, uh, how to put. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm I'm a bit biased, but I think give them the real place they deserve somehow. So, and I hope we'll go more and more into that. Yeah, that's that's excellent, and I think um, also uh, an interesting of, of mine too. So, for endangered languages, especially, I mean, if libraries have materials in those endangered languages, to really think about using Wikisource. Uh, and Wikidata as a place to make those materials more uh, available because we know this is vital for language revitalization and so so linked to culture that it is uh, you know, yeah. a really important issue in Canada as well and, and for many countries and cultures. So thank you um, for, for, for that and for your work uh, on that. I think that that's um, really important and, and something for all of us to think about in cultural um, institutions. So on that, I just want to say thank you very, very much uh, for your time um, and sharing your work with us. And um, uh, again, another thank you to, to IFLA, uh, to the Wikisite Project, and to Wikimedia Foundation. And uh, I hope uh, those watching feel inspired to uh, check out um, the Wikisource Project and Wikidata. There are um, materials available online, and certainly there's a great community of uh, Wikimedians, Wiki Project, who are always happy to, uh, to help uh, people um, come into the projects. Um, so with that, I think we'll uh, close today and, um, and you'll be able to, to join us for another talk uh, in this series. So thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.